Hey guys, it's Bethany here with Studio Sweat On Demand this week, and as you can see, someone is missing. I'm Miriam, I'm not Kat. Yep, me neither. Sorry. I'm sorry. I know. She is gone I'm happy this week. to be here. Yay, I'm happy to have you, because I'd be so nervous if it was just me. Yeah. I wouldn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> so, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. um, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Yes. Woo -woo. Yes, it is. Um, do you have any tips for us on I do. keeping anything healthy? I do. So, there's lots of recipes out there that you can modify, of course, but really it's about the behavior. So, you have to think of Thanksgiving like it's any other meal. I know it's special and traditional, familial, it's cultural, um, it's cozy and warm. There's all these emotions tied into it. However, you can eat this food, not just Thanksgiving, but the day after, the day after, a week after. And you can the day eat after it. that, and you the day after it, that. Like <laughs> New Year's <laughs> and on. So I want you to think about this so you don't binge a lot on this day and um, hurt yourself potentially and then cause a uh, set a tone for weeks after. Just think about, you know what? I feel full right now. I can have some more in two hours or three hours. So try to intuitively eat and feel your hunger and fullness and uh, honor your body. That's a great idea because everybody, it's not your last meal. It's not, yes, <laughs> yes. There's a phenomenon. It's not the last supper. Last supper um, phenomenon. It's, it's very, very common. Yes. Interesting. Okay, good, good, yes. that's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so this week coming up on Studio Sweat On Demand, coming out this week, we have Kat has done a small group training, Ooh, and all yeah. you need is a set of heavy weights, so you guys should have those at home. Um, so it's awesome. I mean, you don't need the bike. You can get your butt kicked easy in peasy. an hour with one set of heavy weights. It's awesome. And then also coming out, Kat, I noticed the trend here. Cat, 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 cat. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Does she she is, own this business? <laughs> right? <laughs> She's coming out with this speed spin this week. So that is 30 minutes on the bike of hard spin. So you guys asked for it. You got it. Do it. You'll love it. Have fun with it. Coming out, I believe, midweek is me. Oh my gosh. Spin sculpt coming out with me. I have no idea what we're doing, but we will have fun. That's you all I do now. will be breathless. It will be fun. This week we have trainer of the tip. No. Oh! Tip of the... <laughs> trainer. <laughs> trainer tip. Trainer tip of the week. The Thanksgiving drinking has begun. Yes. <laughs> no. So we are going to demo proper form on a lunge because we see these done often very poorly and you can get hurt. So I have Olga who is our newest spin instructor, we're trying to get our class here, to demo the proper form of a lunge. So have at it. All right, so there is a different type of lunges we can do. We can do forward lunge, we can do a, a rear lunge, we can do a side lunge, we can do stationary lunge. I'm gonna show basic lunge. So we're gonna have a starting position with your feet and the hip width apart, and you're just gonna step with one foot back, right or left, whatever, and you're gonna have your back heel elevated, Make sure your posture is neutral, your chest is lifted, shoulders back, abs are engaged. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna flex your hip and flex your knee straight down towards the floor and make sure your back knee is 90 degree angle, front knee directly over your ankle. Very important to have your thigh parallel to the floor and almost reaching down towards the floor. And extend. So you're gonna go flex your hip and knee down and extension on the way up, which is gonna work your gluteus maximus and your quads and your hamstrings so all kinds of fun stuff um, I'm gonna show you variety you can do forward lunge same thing you're gonna have your knee 90 degree angle make sure your thigh parallel four and push off your heel and you can do a rear lunge backwards or you can just stay stationary and go down and up you can also do plyometric lunges which is down jump up mm -hmm. but your form it stays always consistent knee 90 degree angle abs engaged shoulders back chest lifted can you so, do a side lunge absolutely a little bit different because in the side lunge you work your hips hip flexors so on your side lunge you're going to step to the side where your knee 
in line with your toes and directly over your ankle. You wanna keep your chest lifted and you're gonna push off your heel and step back in. Again, you can stay stationary and just do a side lunge side to side or you can do a step in and out. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. So the major problem with lunges that we see, why don't you go ahead and step into a lunge position for me? Okay. Just one leg forward, one leg back. The major problem we see with lunges is when people come down into their lunge, their knee goes way over their toe, creating knee problems long term. So that's the big thing you want to watch out for. And they collapse. The and your toe. chest needs to be back and up. So the but the main thing is watching that your toe is in line or behind your knee is in line or behind that toe. So you don't want it to come over and drop forward. So that's the main thing you want to watch out for when you do lunges. And if you do proper form, it walks all mm -hmm. your booty, Everything. your Good quads, stuff. your hamstrings, and your core. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, that's our trainer tip of the week. Have a great week, you guys. Happy holidays. Signing off. Happy holidays. See you.